Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We've got a little bit of an issue right here with the water just spilling over the top of the wall that we've built here. And, I mean, yes, admittedly we were seriously considering doing something like this at some point, but uh, it's just a tiny little bit too early. We didn't want it to happen yet. It's also coming around here and it's flooding the road right there. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit of redesigning just on this bit here and just raise that the tiniest, tiniest little fraction to protect the city down there. And then we can go on with some other bits. Before we do that, we'll just have a look over here. The sewage is spreading. I mean, yes, we haven't really done a lot since the end of the last episode, but still, the sewage is spreading. Slowly filling up this. This is just now on... I, I did put, temporarily, a water source there that would remove the water. Um, but that's now gone. So it's either going to fill the lake or the evaporation is going to happen at the same rate that the sewage is pouring in. We'll wait and see on that one. We don't really know how it's going to behave. So we, we will eventually find out. But uh, we're not going to just yet. So what I do want to do first is I want to go to here... And I want to go to that one. I want to decrease my brush strength down to about 0 0.4. Uh, I don't want to buy a new land. I want to increase the size of said brush to about that. And I'm going to set the brush height to about there. So we'll just bring this up a little bit. There we go. And because I've got a gentle brush... It won't sort of haul it straight up in a, in a sharp line, and it should avoid um, making this flat top. That's, that's what I'm trying to avoid on here at the moment. I don't want this flat top here at the moment. What I'd like to do is I'd like to bring it up a little bit more gently, like this, to make a slightly more natural curve to the top of it. And I have found that by putting the brush down quite low to about 0.4 that seems to do the job quite nicely so we'll bring that in across there like that there and just pull that through all the way around and then we've got our wall so there is a protective wall nicely built up and that should then keep all of them safe the other thing that we need to worry about is the water coming across here and this is not a case of raising or lowering the terrain this is a case of actually raising the road. So all of this here is now safe. We've got no water coming down into there. So the next bit that we want to do is we just want to take our bulldozer and we want to remove that one and that one. That end. Bring that one up there. And I'm also going to remove that as well. I'm going to take it back all the way over here. Then we'll bring the road in, and we want to go back over to here. We want to go to Standard Highway. We want to bring you out like that. I want to have that one there, like that. I want to raise you up from back here, and I'll bring you to about that point there, and then put that one straight onto there. Now, is that... That's, that's, actually, that is, that's, that's not too bad, bringing it out onto there, I think. Bring that onto there, and then it sort of moves to, to one of those. And then this one here, going to come out here like this, and that's going to come along there, and then come down to that point there. So that's it is now all above the water. The water is just raised ever so slightly higher than it used to be. And, I mean, yes, we've got that bridge there is a little bit higher than I wanted it, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be fine. Um... The suspension bridge all the way across there would probably look better than what we've got at the moment than this type of bridge. But still, I think it'll be okay. So we, we won't worry about that too much. So long as it's up and out of the way, it's not going to cause any problems. We do have this bit over here. That may end up being a bit of an issue with um, the, the height of the water, but I don't think it will. Really, we just got to keep a close eye on it all the way along here to make sure it's not going to burst the banks anywhere. It should be all right. The other thing that we want to do is we want to remove those three so that all the sewage is going up to the top. I didn't actually realize we still have those three pumping. So um, those there we've just disconnected. These three here I'm going to remove completely. They're gone. They no longer exist. They're no longer part of the program. There we go. It is going to make a difference in the lake. We've got to just wait for that now to even out. 
and that should allow a little bit more sewage to come up there instead of running down the bottom. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do, which I was about to do at the end of the last episode, is to just add some water to this area here. But I also need to add it into our new farming zone that we got up here, which means an awful lot of pipes. So I want to connect them all up, so I may as well do the whole lot now all in one go. Keep it nice and simple. And we'll just run straight lines all the way along on the whole thing. And then we shouldn't have any issues. At least that's the theory. There we go. We put that one into there. And we can come down a little bit further. And we go along here. Bring that one up. There we go. Uh, down a bit. Bring that across there. And then one down there. Like that. And finally one here. Like that. There we go. So everything has now got water all the way up through. Look at that. A thing of beauty. It really is. So every single little bit up through there has got water. We don't have power on any of these, but they do have water. There is now power around on these because they've built the housing. And we're starting to get some actual demand for housing as well, which is quite good, actually. I, I do want to start... Um, getting a little bit of demand for housing. I'm going to build these up slowly, these areas, so that they, they do start to fill up with the housing, but I don't want to rush it. I don't want to have, like, absolutely loads of it going in too quickly. I figure that if we do it slowly, the houses will all start to build up, and it should keep the city going upwards at a reasonable rate. I'm going to bring that over that way so it joins power in for all of this lot over this side, over here. Um, I'll put that in around that one as well, like that. So we'll leave those there. How many have I got now? i got several of them. I'll put that one in, and one there, and one there. So we've got, we've got several more there that are building up. And then we'll do a line along here so it connects into that one. And then it's that section there that we'll want soon, which I reckon, if I do a big... I'll do a big chunk there that'll join that one in. But I've already got several houses now that I've... Yeah, right, we'll, we'll leave that. We'll leave it for just, just a minute. Not very long, but we will leave it for a little bit. So we've got up this way... This is all commercial zone. I've still got quite the demand for commercial zone, actually. This is industrial over here with the forestry. And we don't really have demand for that but the commercial zone here this is all the um the organic one so that the, it's making the eco marts and stuff like that then we got offices here with absolutely loads of stuff and over this side we've got the leisure zones now this is something that i was gonna change i was gonna add in some more of this silver fennekin here is the um the leisure zone in here so i've got the low density stuff here and high density on this side I'm going to keep going with this theme. I'm going to keep the low density on one side of the road and high density on the other side of the road. So we'll bring low density in along here. I do wonder if I should be trying to put more um, fire and police and stuff in here. I don't think I need it at the moment. I'll put all of it up. I'll put these up here. You know, I probably should just um, use the paint tool for this. It'd be a lot faster. You know what? Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's actually do it. Rather than saying I should and then not doing it, let's actually do it. Let's, let's push the boat out and do something novel and actually do what I say I'm going to do. There. I know. I'm, I'm as shocked as you are. I really am. Uh, so we'll paint that bit in there so there's a bit of demand for commercial district now being taken care of. And then we've got more down here. This is going to be more of the high density. Everything this side of those... Well, that's low density there. But all of this section down here, I want all of this to be high density. I want all of this there like that. And actually, I do want to put some hospitals and stuff in here. I'm going to put a medical center there. And I'm going to put a medical center there. And I'm going to drop one in there as well. I don't really have much in the way of medical centers here to help out at all. Which is a bit remiss of me, really. I should have some kind of medical facilities here. Uh, I won't worry about the crematorium, but I mean, yeah, if, if you've got a whole load of nightclubs and pubs and stuff, you, you really do want to have something to help them out a bit, don't you? Uh, so we bring that one in, space occupied. Well, I could put it onto that one there, like that. I've already got 
pretty good coverage for fire. Um, that being said, I'm still putting more in. And yeah, I'm putting the great big ones in, and I don't need to spend this much money on the great big ones. That I'm, I'm still doing it, though. I'm still adding in these huge great big stations in order to try and help things out a little bit. I think it's just going to be beneficial to us. Um, education, I don't need over here. I do wonder if I should add in a bit more in the way of transport. I mean, maybe we could put in another station there. Um, okay, trains. I'm just going to give up with trains because, look, you, you look at trains across our map here. Um, the tunnels are completely jam full. Ev the, the, no train can move. I need to redesign the entire train system on the whole map with one ways and bypasses and everything. And I'm, I'm kind of out of my depth with that. I've, I've started something and I don't know how to finish it. So rather than actually, you know, stepping up and, and, and grabbing and dealing with the problem, I'm, I'm just going to avoid it and pretend it's not there. I, I figure that's a better approach. <laughs> it's, going, it's going to work better for me at least anyway. Right, let's go back to our zoning. I want all of this zone over here to be uh, the the high density stuff. So we're going to drop that in there, and then I'm going to drop high density zoning right here, as much as I can, all the way through. And then we're going to start dropping all of this down here as high density zoning as well. Got some big chunks up there, up to this, up to the monorail. Is this going to go up to the monorail? And then the other stuff is going to be the low density. So let me just paint all of that in there and we'll get a whole load of buildings and stuff going up and then that's going to create jobs and things like that which I'm hoping is going to encourage the development of more of the buildings uh, the, more of the housing that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping at this point and then we get a much bigger city which means that we get a lot more see we've got demand for housing the demand for housing is now starting to rise and the housing has been filled over here. The areas that I set for actual housing have now got housing on them. So we'll go on to the next bit and I'm going to put housing all the way down along that section there. And I'm going to fill that. I'm also going to drop in along there, here and here. So we've got another little section there. Disconnected power grids. Yeah, we don't care about that. Uh, put that one along there, and then I've got more housing over here that I'm going to want to bring down, which I'm going to do in a line down there. This here is connected up anyway. I've got a big long line of housing that I'll probably put in there at some point. I'm not going to just yet. We've got... Yes, his housing is being built there, but it's also being built along here as well, so it should jump across the road and cow it. Cow Cowie? Cowie the power through, um, and carry the power through as well. And I'm going to put more housing up there so it will bring power over that way. And then I think really we want to go that one. Like that. So we'll le I'm going to leave it now for a minute and we'll let these houses start to develop. Once those houses have developed then that should you know allow for a little bit more population to come in. And we shouldn't have any issues there whatsoever. We've got more of these going up, which is good. If we take a look in our pit at the moment, it's still 2 of 27. I click on to here. We've got 2.2 million units of capacity and current production is just under a million. So we're doing fine with that. Water pumping is 2 million, 1.3. Um, drainage capacity is absolutely fine. We've got no issues. And also consumption versus production there on electricity. Again, no issues at all. This is a good thing. And you are actually working now. Right, that's good. So we've sort of taken care of the little issue that we had there that would have had a little bit of a repercussion as it flowed around. The roads and everything are okay over there. And you can see here by the greening up of the grass along the top and just around these houses that we no longer have any flooding coming into that part of the map either. So there's another thing that I wanted to do that I did talk about previously, that I am now ready to show you. I got a mod, I got another one off of Steam, where I have unlocked all of the buildings. Every single building that can be unlocked has now been unlocked. 
I also did add in another couple of buildings. I've got that one there, the Sky Tower, which I thought looked pretty cool. And I think there's another one, was it under level 5? It might not be under level 5. Um, it may not even be showing up. Maybe it's a level 4. What's that? Floating Gardens. Oh, yeah, there's... Um, there's one, the... the Car... Carlator... Carlator... Kalatanet, Kala Tower. Anyway, um, yeah, there's there's another one that I've got, and where's the one? The, the, there's one more that I got that I thought looked really cool. Um, they're like it's genuinely brilliant. It, it really is. Uh, but the for some reason I couldn't get the Green City stuff to. I I ticked it on the mod, um, and the Green Cities DLC. And it wouldn't load my save game, so I un I deselected that one, and it loaded the save game. So the just the monuments with the green cities bit, I haven't got those unlocked, but the rest should be. I don't know why that happened. Now I've also unlocked all the rest of these. So we've got the medical center, we've got the doomsday vault, hadron collider, the space elevator, fusion power plant. Eden Project, and then that one over there, the Ultimate Recycling Plant, is one that I don't have unlocked because it's to do with the other. Um, what have I got to do to get this one? Construct Bird and Bee Haven. Right. I don't even know what the Bird and Bee Haven is. It'll be here somewhere. We'll say it's Courthouse, Official Park, Colossal Order Offices. Okay, that sounds pretty sinister, actually. So where's the Burden Bee Haven? It's not there. Let's have a look under number five. Is it one of these? Sphinx of Scenarios, Servicing Offices. Uh, what's that? Floating Gardens. It's not that. It's not that one there. Oppression Office. Grand Library. And then... Uh, courthouse. Official Park. Colossal Order Offices. Mall of Moderation. Disaster Memorial Climate Research Station. That were Ah, right. Burden B. Haven. 5,000 squares of self-sufficient building specialization. We have zero. Zero squares. So, where do we get... That's one that we need to unlock later. And looking through here... So, there, yeah, there's one more that I got that doesn't appear to have turned up. It's a bit of a shame because it was an ancient Chinese monument which looked really wickedly cool. I I did I absolutely loved it. I thought it was abs it was really awesome. It really was. Um but it doesn't appear to be here at all. I can't find it anywhere. Um it's not gonna be in there, no. That's a shame, because that one it really did look awesome. I was really impressed with it. And it does not appear to be here in the collection of different buildings that we've got. Anyway, what we are going to do is we're going to put some more of these buildings up through here. So we're going to start with the Eiffel Tower right here. And that one's going to go there. I'm going to do a line of these buildings all the way up through here. So we've got this one here, which is Grand Central Terminal. Uh, is this? Build the Grand Central Terminal train. Oh, it's so the train museum. Right. Okay, so we'll put the train museum in there. The Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe. Not de 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 de. Um, the Arc de Triomphe. And then we've got Traffic Park. That one will go in there. And then we've got the Locomotive Halls. Put that one up there. Right. It's everything from the first section, from the Landmark section. Then we've got in here, we've got the Casino. That one is 450,000... I've only got 50 grand left. I've gone and spent all my money. So we, we're going to need to wait a little while so that we can get some more cash. And then we can build some more of those. I have, I've I've got these, but I haven't got anything to, like... Um, we've also got the sun blocked out by uh, our mountain behind us, which is probably not the best way to do things. Still, we'll worry about that later. Now, we've got some death happening over here. But, again, our death waves don't really seem to be much of an issue anymore. The, the main problem we seem to have now is the trains. Look at them. This is It's just ludicrous. They, they, the whole map is just stopped. 
I, I really, I, I mean, I've been told I've got too many stations, and really I need to restart the whole designing the trains from the ground up. Um, i got to be honest with you, I don't actually want to do that. That seems like it's going to be a very difficult thing to do, and maybe a little bit beyond my capabilities. At least at the moment. It's, it's just going to be one of those things that's going to be a little bit painful for everybody to watch. Um... And a little bit painful for me to do as well. So I'm, I'm going to avoid that one just because I don't think that uh, it's going to um, provide very much in the way of entertainment for you. And we'll we'll leave the trains. Maybe I'll delete some of the trains. We, we, I, I might actually sort of stretch to that. Um, now, is that one actually got power? It does. Power does reach that one. So we'll go back over to here. I do like the fact that... They're actually building, right? These these um, structures are actually being built, right? We've gone up 290 people already. And I think it's to do with the fact that we've now got plenty of industrial and commercial zoning. I didn't have that much commercial zoning before. And so I, I, I'm i wondering if because I didn't have, like, much of a balance, I've it, it didn't quite work properly. So that there, we've just got these building up a minute. We just need a few more buildings in between so that the power connects up all of those. And then I'll start adding in more structures, uh, a more like ava available land for people to build on. And we're doing all of this with the high density stuff. This is all going to be high density. You know what I haven't done in this area up here? We need to add in some parks and plazas. We've got none at the moment, and people are going to want to walk their dogs, stuff like that. So we'll put one there, that's going to keep people happy, and we'll put one down here. That's going to make people happy there. Probably not the people who've just lost their home, admittedly. You know, they, they, they may get a little bit upset by that, but uh, I'm, sure that, I'm sure they'll find a way to soldier on. Put that one there. And then I do want, I want another botanical garden. I really love these botanical gardens. It's because the building looks like Kew Gardens. Um, small playground. The dog park there. The dog park, nice little one here that serves a very noble purpose, letting people walk their dogs. There we go. And we put... Where do I put that? I'm going to put that one right next to that building there. There we go. So now everybody's happy with that. And we want a bit more down here. We've got this a large playground there. There's a park with trees. Again, see, this is a really big park. I wonder if I could put it down here somewhere. Is it going to be enough room? I ought to be able to... Ah, there we go. Look, I can put that right up against the monorail. Drop that one in there. Then people are going to be happy. I could also... No, I can't put it there. It's too steep. It's, it's right up against the water. Uh, large playground... Slope too steep. It doesn't like that. Right there, that little bit. I could put it there. It'll just um, delete the one that's already there. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to put this one over in the middle there. That'll allow more people access to it. Right, that's looking a little better, I think. We, we've got more people here who've now got access to these things. Put one there right on that edge so that we've got more of these people still. We've got... There we go. That's better. And there's one lot up here that don't seem to have access to very much. So if I put one of these in here, then they should have access to it all as well and they'll all be happy. See? Now everybody's happy. They're all really cheerful. Um, why do they want it? I, I don't think that it's going to improve matters if I put this one, put one of these over here. I mean, it might. We could put that one there, and we could go with a park with trees right there. Slope too steep. Bring this one in there. Right there. I'll put that one in there, and that's going to allow a load of these people who go to these nightclubs, they can also go and have a walk among the trees. That's what they want, and they, they do appear to. It seems to have made them a little bit happier. I don't know if we need to worry about it too much. I suppose they want to go there while they're at work, don't they? Um, you know, the people that actually work in the pubs and clubs, they, they, they want to go in there. So if we, like, take the, uh, what's this one? Um, small park, dog park, that's one that I want. There. If I get this dog park here, and so I've got the loop right here in the middle. Put that one, that's, yeah, that's a lot of buildings that I'm getting rid of there. If I, I, I could get rid of 
I want to get rid of those. I can't really get rid of those. Uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna let me drop it in there. It's not gonna let me drop it in there. It's got. It's got to go here somewhere. I wanted to try and get rid of as the, the, as few as a few as few buildings as possible. We'll drop it in there. That's gonna make other people happy around there, even if it doesn't quite cheer up the ones that are right slap bang in the middle. And then we'll also go. If we could put one up here next to the train station. Can't go too close to the train station. All right, we'll move that one right over there and drop that one into there like that. There, perfect. Okay, so now people have got places to go and walk their dogs and they should be generally a little bit more happy. Just just a little bit. So then we come back here now to the housing and it's already built a load of housing in on that bit there. I've got some more housing that I want to build here and just across these two sections here. I want to come down to here and so join in the power so it goes up through there to that one and then i also want to join in to that park there so we want to put that across there like that so build a couple of houses in there they'll build some more houses there uh we will just bring this on round along its edge here as well there's a building going up there there should very soon be some more buildings going into the middle and that's going to join see we've got the power is connected up along here already See, that's gone into there. That's all up there. We've got this bit up here. And they'll soon, they'll just start building something right in there. And then that's going to be done as well. And then I can start filling out the rest of this. I'm trying to do this fairly carefully to get all of the power out. But, oh, I know one thing that we do need to do. One thing that I nearly forgot about, which is actually going to be quite important, I think, in order to keep this all running smoothly... And to keep everybody happy, we're going to go from there. I'm going to go... Actually, I'll go with just a four-lane road. I'll take this one. I'll take one straight out there. Right. Um, what building is that? It says space occupied. That's the elementary school. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we can't go straight out there. We'll have to go... Might be better if we come off of this bit here anyway. So we will, we'll, we'll come off of this bit here. I can't come off of there because of that building. I can actually... No, I can't. That's uh, a different... There's another one that's going to not let me do it. Uh, I don't know if I can come off of there. I don't know. I can't come off of there. It's not going to let me do it. I need to be able to come off of the end of, of, of one of these roads. And have a tunnel going under the ground. Straight off of one of these roads. And it would be ideal if I could come off the end of one of these. That that would work better. What have what, what have I got here? Right. Let's get let's get rid of the roads here. So, well, not get rid of the roads. So the bouncy castle one there, I want to move that. I'm actually just gonna move it. I'm gonna move that one up the road a little bit. It's gonna go to there like that and then this one here I'm going to relocate this university up the road just that far so it's, it doesn't have to move very far at all it's only a tiny little bit that I've moved that one up the road then I can take the roads and I can come off of here and out like that and then I can lower that down it's not actually making a road there uh See, that's not making a road. If I click there, it's just going to move it. It's that really weird thing, doesn't it? Right, so we'll bring that one out that way. And then we'll lower it down by one so that we got that going underground there. And then I can bring this one. I should then... I can't take it out there because it's sloped too steep. I can take it to there. I gotta, you've got to do this a bit carefully, actually. Right, now, let's have a look. Where is the road that goes to the Nigel Pipe District? We've got... It goes out that way. And I've got one tunnel there that goes all the way across. I do have the Nigel Pipe one that comes up to there. And I've got another small one that comes out to here. So this is the one I actually want to join this in. Onto this one over here. But it's saying space occupied. Not really sure why we've got space occupied. If I bring that down to there. Cannot build on water. Space occupied. 
Oh, I see. Train tunnel in the way. I need to go under that train tunnel. I can go under just by one point there. Slope too steep. I can bring it in like that. There we go. Right. So I bring that into there. Uh, tunnels there. Okay. So that well, I, I, just as long as I can see that it's connected up, that's all that matters. So I've now got a direct link over to here. So that should allow the garbage trucks to come out here. That's what we're after on that bit. We want garbage trucks to be able to come out of that one. And then they can service this area over here. I'm hoping. But that's kind of the plan there. Now, we go back into here. We've got more and more demand coming up for housing. So we now want to start filling this in properly for housing. I'm going to do this whole section up here, this triangle section. Open, really start to open this up for housing. Um, I am doing this rather than sort of rushing to do it. I'm doing like little sections. And it's allowing a few houses to start building. So I don't really need to worry about that too much. We just plonk them all in. And they'll all fairly quickly start to find their own equilibrium as they, they build everything up. So we put all of those in. There we go. So that section is now building. And you look down through here. We've got loads of houses in here. Absolutely masses of it. And we do we still got the abandoned buildings thing. It's it's removing any abandoned buildings. And that seems to be working well. The reason that I want to keep doing this, the reason that I want more houses and more houses and more houses is one, because we want to improve the amount of uh increase the amount of sewage that we got coming into the city. That's that's one thing that I want to do. I want more sewage. Well, not coming into, we're going out of the city. Um but also cash flow. Cash flow would be good. And some of you do want to see how many people we can have in a city. I'm curious as well. I'm, I, I don't know what the limit is. So um, We did think originally that it may have been 100,000. But we've now got 124,000 people in this city. And still rising. So I'm thinking that maybe there is no... It could be there's no limit at all. You can just keep going. Just keep make building and building and building and getting more and more people. So we've got there, we've got some more people able to go in. I will leave that for a minute. I won't add in any more just for a little bit and we'll see what happens. We've got our cities up here. That's doing well. Tiny little bit of demand for industrial. Not a great deal. We do have industrial land over here that we still haven't um, sort of activated yet. We've got more industrial land over here. Trains trains don't really seem to exist anymore. They, they don't seem to do anything at all. Traffic is equally barbaric. Um, what do you get? What's going on? I mean, look, you, you, you come out here. You follow this one all the way along, okay? The trains. The, the trains come all the way out to here. And they get to this point, And they seem to have just, like, stopped. I got these trains right here. I got one there that's moved. And they, they just don't seem to go, want to go anywhere. They, they all seem to be waiting each for another train. And not moving at all. The rest of them seem to be doing alright. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the trains. They, um, they're not making a great deal of sense. Like these here. They, these all seem to be waiting to go this way. Yeah, they are. They're all waiting to go up this way. But which way are they going now? It's like I've got trains there that they're stopped on there. Oh, no, they're going through. Maybe they are going through. Maybe it is working. Ah, I got, like, I got train there. and he's. But why is he stopping there? Why is he stopping so far back? Why not go on a little bit further and allow these to come through? That's the bit that I don't understand. That they, um, they don't seem to be free-flowing very well. The poop wall is doing absolutely wonderful. It is spreading. The actual poop quantity is spreading further and further. And this is a good thing. This is what we want. We want more poop to spread out and keep going. And in order to really maximize the poop effect, we need more people in the city. So we've got, at the moment, plenty of... Well, actually, the, the, um, the commercial district over here, this one's doing really well. We want to finish building that one. I could add in more commercial zoning. I'm wondering about just removing that whole section there and just putting a big long line of commercial district along there right next to this housing zone 
So we've got more commercial being taken care of. That is an absolutely huge area up there that is going to be for agriculture. Which will get us some income, but... I mean, I'm, I don't know what it does in the way of sewage. I'd like to increase sewage. I don't know if there's anything that we can do about that. But um, we, we, we'll have to wait and see. There's one final thing, though, that I was thinking of doing. Just before we go. And I'm wondering if this is going to make a difference with the poop lake. So that we've at least got more poop in the lake. I think it's kind of filling the lake a little bit. I think it is I think it is going up rather than down. But no, what I wanted to do is I wanted to put this one in here. And then you click on it like that. Now, that's a source. And then it drains it out if you put it down here like this. So if I drop that one down there, that's going to pull the water towards it down that way. But in order to counter that effect, I want to put one up here that's going to produce water. So I'm just going to drop that one right there. I'm not going to do anything else to it. And that's just going to produce a waterfall out of that side there. It's not going to affect anything out over here. not going to make any difference over there. But what it is going to do is we've got a, a torrent of water that is now going to sort of come down there. Eventually, I'm hoping that the torrent will sort of sort itself out a little bit. But it's going to spread across the lake, and then on this side, we've got a drain. So that's pulling it through. So I do have some fresh water coming in here, pushing through. Plus, we've got this here as well coming through, and that's, that's going to be pushing over towards that drain. And the hope is that it will sort of blend in some of this, so that we, we've basically got a lot more poop in this lake than there is currently. Um, that's what I'd like. I'd, I'd like more poop. Lots more poop. So there we've got the, the water there is obviously that's going to run through. So it is going to take a little while. This is not really going to move very much until this settles in and starts dragging the water over that way. We have a look at the um, pollution at the moment. So that's not that's, that's going to take a while to move. But I'm, I'm gonna, it, is, it is looking good. And then once this is settled down, you've got this nice waterfall effect here. I think that's going to look pretty good, but it's going to take a while for that to spread all the way across. Anyway, that's all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.